Balloonists surpass world distance record. Two pilots have surpassed the world distance record for a flight in a helium balloon after crossing the Pacific Ocean. American Troy Bradley and Russian Leonid Tyuktyev also hope to set a new duration record. They left Japan in their Two Eagles balloon on Sunday and had aimed to land in Canada or the US. However, weather has forced them to change course towards Mexico where they are due to land sometime on Saturday. Their high balloon is fitted with monitors and other instruments that track their course and compile data to be submitted to record keepers. The specially designed capsule sits beneath a huge helium-filled envelope and is designed to stay aloft for up to 10 days. To set new distance and durations records the team needed to beat the existing records by 1%. For distance that meant a journey of about 5,260 miles, 8,465 kilometers, to beat the existing record of 5,208 miles set in 1981. On Thursday, the two Eagles team tweeted, the pilots have just surpassed the distance needed to set a new record. 5,261 miles or 8,467 kilometers. We're not taking any time to celebrate, said head of Mission Control Steve Shope. We have a lot of work we have to do, and we're just taking this flight one hour at a time. On its website, the team says two eagles will not have broken the record until documentation is approved by the U.S. National Aeronautic Association followed by the Federation Aeronautique Internationale, a process that could take several weeks or months. Two Eagles Balloon Oversea Near Japan January 26, 2015 The Two Eagles balloon is capable of staying aloft for up to 10 days. The existing duration record they hope to beat was set in 1978 when three pilots made the first transatlantic balloon flight, spending 137 hours, 5 minutes, and 50 seconds in a gas balloon. To set a new record, the Two Eagles team must stay aloft for about 138 hours and 45 minutes. At the moment, it is not clear exactly where the Two Eagles balloon will land. The team had been aiming for Canada but a ride of high-pressure ridge off the U.S. west coast forced the balloon into a sweeping right turn toward Mexico. A network of balloon enthusiasts has been organized to act as chase crews, but correspondence says it remains unclear if the balloon will be able to land in a place where a ground crew can help them.